Oh, it's again Kazarayk, but today we're gonna play as the Slavic country. Yeah, it's Bulgaria. Country, that language reminds me the Russian language. I know Russian pretty good, so I can understand Bulgarian language. Let's start. Готов! Готовый! Мирно! Внимание! Заповеди командире! Готов! Oh, and I forgot to say that the second name of the Bulgaria is the Balkan, Prussia. We are the German Empire of the Balkans. We should keep this name and make Bulgaria great again. And conquer a new territories for the Bulgarian people. Greater Bulgaria must remain. No, 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 no curtailed monarchy. Monarch must have all the power. We are going to defend the monarchy in Bulgaria. At least try to defend the monarchy. Oh, you can see that now we are the paternal autocrats. Bulgaria will become a terrifying orderly machine. Oh, so the economy peak is crushed by the little parts. So our economy is doing not so good. Oh look, it's a great Bulgaria and the Balkans right here with a hand. So we need to research this Focus 3, because we see this good icon. Oh sorry, I forgot to say about our population. The population of our great Bulgaria now is 10.5 million people. But we need to have 15 million people living in the great Bulgaria. You are going to see our great existence soon with our greater territories. Kosovo is Bulgaria. We helped you to win in the Great War. You are going to help us in the Fourth Balkan War. And yeah, German aid arrives to our country. And let's bring Serbs to the our side by promising post-war ethnic autonomy for them in our country. Of course we are lying, but we need to lie before the war starts and Serbs in our territories starts to support the illegitimate Serbia in Belgrade. Now we have the partial mobilization. Ura for Crown Prince Boris. All Heil Boris. In September 1936 we are going to prevent the Ottoman Empire intervention in the Bulgaria. So for now the Ottoman Bulgarian negotiations shall begin. Okay, we can make the economic integration. We shall accept this. Well, 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 the deal is second. The Ottomans won't intervene in this war. And now we have the good relationships with the Ottoman Empire. We were allies in the Great War, so we don't need to fight with each other. The Ottomans have other problems, except us. Oh shit, the Belgrad Pact is second. We should deal faster and make four divisions faster to protect the Thessaloniki. Jack Reed now is the new president of the United States, but I don't give a fuck about United States in this company. We'll just see what will happen in the United States. My favorite doctrine, the superior firepower. Our first operation must be the conquering of the Thessaloniki. After that we are going to have the four free divisions that are going to the Serbian front or maybe I will go to the Greece front or to Romanian front. Yeah, Serbian Republic declared war on us. The Serbian blow to war. Defend Bulgaria's honor. Let's attack Pristina. Austrians wants to help us. Thanks Austrians. And yet the Thessaloniki operation has started. As well as Turks and Hungarians are helping us. Now we have the war economy that will help us a lot. So the operation of conquering Thessaloniki is successful. Now they are moving to the Serbian front. You, you can see that their divisions are doing not so good. In a friendly Russia we can see the rise of the worst of the Boris Savinkov. He is our friend. As well as the Germans. 
We have a lot of friends in the world. Goodbye, Serbia. Goodbye. We are pushing them so easily. And Belgrade is almost ours. They are really stupid, cause now I can conquer the Belgrade. Yeah, the Belgrade is mine. Serbians has capitulated. Now we're gonna have at 24 divisions on the Romanian front and 4 divisions on the Greece front. Yeah, this war is going so easily. Really, I didn't expect it. Oh, look at the little prince. He is born. And his name is gonna be... Let's name him Simeon. We are still trying to cross the Danube River to come into the Playeshti and Bucharest. And we are going to do that. Romanians are going to lose at least one position right there. One of their positions is lost. Now we can help these divisions. Turks are going to help us. Our special operation of conquering the Romania is successful. And it's going great. We are going to encircle a few Romanian divisions. At least few Romanian divisions. Yeah, we have encircled a few divisions. Two divisions are going to die in Romania. Bucharest has fall. No, we are gonna crush them. We won't see a peace with them. The Greece front is moving pretty good. We have even one tank division right here. I'd like to go further in the Greece. Why didn't I go earlier and haven't encircled them earlier? Just look at this. We have encircled three, four, one, one, two, four, three, nine divisions. We have encircled 9 divisions right here. We have lost only 35,000 people. The Belgrade Pact has lost 80,000 people. Haha, <laughs> Romania is going to capitulate in a few days. Yeah, Romania is capitulated, now we are going to the Greece. Oh, hello Greece, I want to capture you. I want to capture the whole your country. Just uh, look at this. I'm just coming by one division and encircling them right here. Why they are so stupid? I'm feeling like a rock star. Now they have capitulated, I'm going to take all of them. Oh, just look at this. Now we're the hegemon of the Balkans. So let's decide where is our place in the Europe. We're going to liberate Romania. We're going to liberate Serbia. And we're going to liberate the Kingdom of Greece. But Crete is mine now. And of course we're going to liberate the Montenegro. Kingdom of Montenegro, we are gonna to annex the Kosovo and assimilate Thessaloniki to Bulgaria. And just look how perfect Bulgaria is right now. But it's the not the biggest one version of the Bulgaria. With the reps, we are gonna to fuck up the Ottoman Empire. I need to take Constantinople or Tsargrad and Andrianople to Bulgaria. Andrianople was our territory after the first Balkan war. Now we have a pretty good satellites, you can see them. War reparations from the countries of the Belgrade Pact. That's gonna review our economy. Oh, I can choose between Rex Pact, between the Danubian Adriatic Alliance and between the Moscow Accord. Goodbye German colonialism. Oh, as you can see Pacific states at the beginning had only the California. Oh, the French Republic now has a new decisions, look at this. After the collapse of the Deutsches Metall Africa, they can now have interventions right here. Now they have the British West Africa located right there, so they are gaining back the old colonies. Great job French Republic and team of the Kaiderreich, great job. Ha 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 ha, we are moving the military factories from Greece, Romania and Serbia to our country. We are gonna get the three military factories. Now we are going to finish the integration of the border territories. It's going to be Niš, Western Macedonia and Dobruja. Oh, we have the Chetniks that made the sword Serbian revolutions. Fucking Serbs, they started a new revolution. The Serbs always make something bad. Of course we are going to call Serbia against them. The Serbs are a real cockroach. They can survive everywhere and make revolution against us. They are going to be punished. I don't know why they are doing these revolutions, cause they are going to lose them anyway. You can see that the Bulgarian army are easily destroying these Chetniks. Even the Serbs are helping us. Oh, you can see that about 30,000 Chetniks has died. And only 1000 of Bulgarians has died. And now what? A lot of Serbs have died for no reason. 
Now Bulgaria has two full arms and our army counts 400,000 people. That's a great army. That is the biggest army of the Balkans. Except the Austrians. Bye bye combined syndicates. Oh right here we have the Ukrainian National Republic and just look their forces have left near Berlin in Frankfurt. Yeah Ukrainians have captured Dresden and even Breslau. As I said Savinkov has intervated in the Ukraine. Now Ukraine has a big problem because they were doing pretty good in Germany and even in the Ukrainian front but Savinkov is going to destroy the whole Ukraine. Yeah, the Russian Blitzkrieg has started. This intervention reminds something to me, you know? Ukrainians are crazy. They are really crazy. Look at the Germany. What they are, what they are doing with the Germany. So the Russians and French are going to easily destroy the German Empire. 18th of August 1939, the Commune of France has declared war on the German Empire. So the German Empire is going to collapse soon. Oh, I'm justifying war against the Ottoman Empire, because you know, we need to capture Adrianople and Constantinople, with the Gain Islands and Rhodos, Dodecandes, Dodecanes. Austria intervenes in the Second World Krieg by the September 1939. That's kinda strange, you know. Poland got territories from German and now they declared war on the German Empire. Really, they have declared war on the German Empire. The German Empire now has a lot of problems, but Ukraine won't make it and won't see the German collapse. That's kinda sad and bad. Oh, so now Russia has intervened in the, into the Second World Krieg, so now it's a two-front war. Now we're coming to take Constantinople and Adrianople from Ottoman Empire and also help Arabian states to destroy the Ottoman Empire. Pal, we need to destroy you. Goodbye, my old friend. My little old and stupid friend. Constantinople is almost ours. Now the Constantinople is ours. Now our goal is to unite our fronts in Anatolian Peninsula. Yeah, we have united in the Bursa. Now we have the whole front, which is going to move to the Kurdistan. No treaty of Adirne. We are going to push Ottomans out of the entire Balkans. Oh, Arab countries have signed peace with the Ottoman Empire. Now we are left one by one with the Ottomans. So Turkey has capitulated, not even the Ottoman Empire. Now it's Turkey and we are taking all of their states. That's a kinda cool Bulgaria. You can see a new Turkish Republic. No, 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 Constantinople is mine. As you can see, I gained a lot of new territories. Now you can see the look of the Greater Bulgaria, Bulgarian Tsardom. The population of the Greater Bulgaria is almost 15 million people, like I said. We'll play a little bit and you are going to see that our population is going to be almost 15 million people. We have a good de demographic situation in the Bulgaria, you know. The time has come. Now we are going to search the last focus of this focus tree, the assassination of the orchestra. And now it's the end of the Bulgarian monarchy. Long live Bulgaria. Yeah, now we're just the Bulgaria with Kimon Georgiev. But we are a great one, Bulgaria. And yeah, it's the end of the, our campaign, cause we reached all our goals, we searched the whole focus tree, there are only left the economic focus tree, fleet and aviation, and that's all. And of course the uh, sizing of the Greek fleet, but I don't need a Greek fleet. I've completed all I wanted, so yeah, thanks for watching, wait for new videos, and bye!